Welcome to Flatty Teacher. In this video, we'll talk about the difference between normal constructor, that is the generative constructor and the factory constructor. So if you don't know what is constructed in that, what do you mean by factory constructor? So I recommend you guys to go ahead and watch the video where I have talked about what is constructor, then different types of constructor, and we have a separate video related to the factory constructor. And if you know everything about that one, then without wasting time, let's get started. Let's start from the first point. For a normal constructor, it's possible to access the instance members of class. But in case of factory constructor, it cannot access the instance members of class. It means factory constructor cannot access the instance data, that is instance field and instance methods of the class. Just look at this example. Here we have a class called test that contains int a with the value 10. This is basically the instance variable. Here we have a default constructor. So it is basically a generative constructor that is it's a normal constructor. So here it's possible to access this instance variable that's why I can write the line a is equals to 5. However, in case of factory constructor, if I try to do the same thing in line number 9, I'm getting the error and just look at the error. It says instance members cannot access from the factory constructor. Let me define some method here. Let's say if we have the method say demo here and it's possible for me to access inside the normal constructor. Let's say if I call the method demo here. So it's quite possible, it's fine. But if I copy that line and if I paste it inside the factory constructor, you can observe here, I'm getting now the two different errors in line 14 and 15 because we cannot access instance member that is instance variable and instance methods of the class inside the factory constructor. In case of normal constructor, it is possible to access the this reference. But for factory constructor, we have no access to this reference. Basically, this reference in constructor is used for three different purposes. First, we use this reference to access the instance member that is instance field and instance methods of the class. Secondly, we use this reference in case of constructor to have the initializer list that is to initialize the members inside the parameter list of constructor. Third use of this is seen for the constructor to call another constructor from the one constructor. But make sure that in factory constructor, we cannot have these for any of the use. Look at this example. We have a class called test that contains total three constructor. First two are the normal, that is they are the generative constructor. And last one is the factory constructor. Now you can observe here, in case of normal constructor, we can have this for the initializer list. But in case of factory constructor, you can observe here, we are getting the error because it's not possible to access that one. Next. If you try to use this in case of the factory constructor to access the data member that is to access the instance variable, even we will have there. You can see here in line number nine, it says invalid reference to this expression. So we cannot use this to access the data members or the members of class. Moreover, we can observe in line number six. I'm using this to call the default constructor that is to call this particular constructor inside the test.demo constructor. So that's quite fine. But if I try to do the same thing here, so let me copy this line from here. And let me delete this one here. And for the function factory constructor, let me add the same line here. Now you can observe, still I'm getting the error here. So I hope it's clear that this reference cannot be used for any of the purpose inside the factory constructor. In case of normal constructor, we don't need to return an instance. But for factory constructor, it's compulsory for us to return the instance using return statement explicitly. Basically, in case of normal constructor, we cannot write the return statement. If you try this, we'll get an error. Just look at this example here. You can observe here, we have the constructor called taste.sumname. It is basically a normal constructor that is the generative constructor. And here I'm trying to write return the taste. So if I look at the error, you can see it says constructor cannot have return value. So within the normal constructor, we cannot return some value. That's the problem. But for factory constructor, you can see we have written a return statement and it's quite fine because it has to be there in a factory constructor. But if I remove this line from factory constructor, you can observe here for this line, I'm getting error that the body might not complete or anything will be wrong because there is null written from the factory constructor. So for factory constructor, it's compulsory for us to return an instance using the return statement explicitly. Normal constructor always generates the instance of current class only. But in case of factory constructor, it can generate the instance of current class as well as the subclass as per the requirement. 
look at this example here we have the class called father which acts as the super class and we have this class called son that extends father that's why it acts as the subclass now in case of the constructor called father we have the default constructor which is actually the normal constructor or you can say it is the generative constructor so whenever we call this constructor it always gives the instance of same class that is it returns the instance of father class only and if you call the constructor of son then it always returns the instance of son class only but if you look at the factory constructor that we have written in line number five so it has the father dot gate father inside this constructor i am returning the instance of father so in this constructor that is for this factory constructor we can get the instance of the father class that is the instance of current class but if you look at this constructor called father dot get son inside this constructor i am returning the instance of son that is i am returning the instance of subclass so it's clear that if we have factory constructor then we have a choice that either we can return the instance of same class or we can return the instance of subclass as per the requirement when we have a normal constructor it always returns the new instance but in case of the factory constructor we can return the new instance or we can return the old instance from the catch as per the implementation now you can observe here whenever we call this normal constructor it always returns new instance for you means whenever you call this constructor you will get the new object and when you call this constructor called the test dot get new which is basically a factory constructor inside this i'm returning instance by using the normal constructor that's the reason whenever we call this factory constructor that is test dot get new it always returns the new instance of test class however you can observe here in case of the last constructor which is again the factory constructor called test dot get old inside this constructor i am returning the instance which is saved inside this underscore instance variable and this instance variable is basically a final and i made it static because it has to be accessed from the factory constructor because we know that from factory constructor we cannot access the non-static field that's the reason it has to be static and as it is final i have already initialized this one by using the default constructor so whenever we call this factory constructor it is not going to create new instance for you rather it is going to return every time the old instance which is already saved inside this underscore instance variable so this proves that if we have factory constructor then we have a choice either to return new instance or to return the old instance as per the requirement when we have normal constructor then it's possible to call the desired super class constructor by using the super keyword that is by using the super construct on other hand if we have factory constructor then from such a factory constructor we cannot call the desired super class constructor using the super construct look at this example here we have two different classes the father which acts as the super class then we have the class called son which acts as the subclass now you can observe here this son is basically a normal constructor that is it's a generative constructor that's the reason with this constructor we can use super 10 super 10 indicates it tries to call the super class constructor that accepts the integer type of parameter means it is trying to call this particular constructor from the sun constructor and it is perfectly all right or it's quite fine here but if i try to do the same thing with the factory constructor you can observe here we have factory constructor called sun dot get instance and i'm trying to do the same thing that is i'm trying to use super in bracket 10 that is i'm trying to call this father constructor from this sun dot get instance and as it is the factory constructor it won't allows me to do the same thing here when we have a normal constructor in a super class then such a super class constructor can be called by subclass constructor by using the super construct on other hand if we have the factory constructor in a super class then such a factory constructor of super class cannot be called by subclass constructor using the super construct example here we have two different classes the father which acts as the super class and son that acts as the subclass you can observe here in case of father we have two different constructors first one is a normal constructor and the another one is a factory constructor now you can observe here in case of son constructor if i write super in bracket 10 means it's trying to call the father's default constructor and that's perfectly fine now if i change this from let's say super dot date father then you can observe here i'm getting error because 
it's not possible means this one okay if you ask me that i should remove the bracket that is i should remove parameters from the bracket still i have a problem here because the super dot gate father must be a generative constructor that it has to be normal constructor if you want to call it by using the super construct in case of normal constructor late initialization of final field is not possible however this is the advantage in case of factory constructor for factory constructor it's possible to have the late initialization of final fields let me explain this one with an example we have a class called test that contains two fields x and y both these fields are final and they are the non nullable variable it means for this generative constructor it's compulsory for us to have the initializer list consider that the value of x is taken from the user that is from the place where object is getting created but the value of y has to be calculated by some logic let's say we have the method called it's a create data and we are passing the value of x and we have some logic and based on the value of x it's returning the value of y for me so i'm just mimicking that i have the value 10 here so this is the method that gives me the value of y based on the value of x but as this y is a final variable i cannot have any calculation part inside the body of this constructor on other hand uh, if we have factory constructor then there is an advantage of that one over the normal constructor we have factory constructor called test.get instance inside this uh, factory constructor we are passing the value of x and i'm passing this value to the method called gate data where this gate data is doing some logic and returning the value of y for me i'm saving this value inside the variable called value and once i got the value of y after calculating uh, based on the value of x then i'm calling the constructor called test then i'm passing the value of x and the value of y which i'm receiving inside the variable value so you can observe here whenever i'm calling this constructor called test there's a chance for me to perform some calculation to get the value of y which is not available in the normal constructor the final point that i must talk about the normal constructor is it is called the generative constructor and it is designed to return the new instance of class every time when you call it and the factory constructor is specially made for implementing the design patterns like factory and the singleton if you don't know what is this factory pattern and the singleton pattern go ahead and watch the video called factory constructor then i have explained very well what do you mean by a factory pattern how to implement that one using the factory constructor and what do you mean by a singleton class what is the significance of that one and how we can create a singleton class using the factory constructor if you really found this video helpful and you really understood the difference between factory constructor and the normal constructor then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos